Once the extinguisher is brought into our shop from the customer's site, the shop technician removes the hose and pole pin and begins discharging the agent to the receptacle. In this case, the valve is depressed to release powder. Once the cylinder is emptied, the cylinder is devalved. The technician does a visual inspection of the inside of the cylinder with a flashlight and dental mirror to look for corrosion, cracks, or other deficiencies. If the cylinder passes the visual inspection, it is refilled with the appropriate amount of agent. At this point, the technician rebuilds the entire valve. The spring, valve stem, and o-ring are removed and the valve is thoroughly cleaned. Compressed air is used to blow out any potential obstructions. A brand new valve stem is inserted into the valve as well as a new o-ring. The spring and siphon tube are then reinstalled. The neck threads on the cylinder are cleaned and the cylinder is wiped down. The technician puts a verification collar around the neck before reinstalling the valve to show that the unit was properly inspected. The valve is reinstalled and tightened. The technician then repressurizes the fire extinguisher with dry nitrogen. The extinguisher fill is complete when the gauge shows pressure in the green. The pole pin is reinstalled and a new seal is attached. A sticker indicating what service was performed and when is applied to the back of the cylinder. Then the hose is reattached and a service tag indicating the date or service is also attached. Now that the extinguisher is fully serviced, our field inspector will return the unit to the proper location at our customer's site.